I'm Cameron Carlo. I'm the discussion leader for Deadlines and Disruption by Stephen B. Shepard. Uh, to give you a quick synopsis of the book, it was interesting to me how Shepard starts and gives quite a bit about his background and how he uh, was an engineering major at uh, City College of New York and then an engineering uh, master's program at Columbia. And for someone to be in the master's program and you know, go through all this engineering stuff, how much that added to his background in journalism because he had that extra expertise built up. Uh, the focus of my first question is kind of on that too with how do you build that expertise if you're a journalism student and what can schools do to help that. But anyways, throughout the book, he talks about how it's his 20 plus years as the man or at Business Week as managing editor and his experiences from a writer and then a manager there after that. And I wanted to bring up, bring up some of the things that he brought to Business Week that I really liked is that he decided it should be more design centric and be more artful, use uh, more pictures, things like that, and no, kind of, I don't want to say get rid of, but at least drop down that mindset of let the writing do the talking that he mentioned was there before him. I'm kind of indifferent to, he talks a lot about how he added bylines to the stories instead of just the masthead. I'm kind of indifferent towards that. I don't care either way. Most of that's just I spent my first two years in the industry as a copy editor, so I'm used to not having my name on anything or having work recognized as much. Uh, but anyways, he also talks, and I think this is great, one of my favorite lines from the book is praise in public, criticize in private, and that's how he would handle some of his writers and some of the people he worked with at Business Week. And I think that's huge, being able to speak privately to someone you know if you have a cr criticism but then in public you know you talk about how great they are and focus on the good things let's see uh, after business week he starts or he becomes the founding dean of the graduate school at city university in new york and that's he really starts to focus on that throughout the end of the book which you know and there's a big problem at that time where the media was adapting to more of an online role, but schools weren't necessarily teaching that. And he came in and uh, he enforced that in his school and in his curriculum. And I thought that was, you know, pretty revolutionary because not a lot of programs did that at the time. And at first, the only way he could sell it was there's three different tracks: there's print, broadcast, and multimedia. With for the online stuff, and then he said that it became more and more eye-opening that that stuff all needed to be through one program and you need to learn all three in order to be a successful journalist in today's world and so that's kind of what my third question or what one of my discussion questions focuses on is what can <clears throat> managing editors now do to help you know the their journalists who can't go who aren't going to go back to school and learn that stuff but they're in the field now and they still need to know it so what can managing editors do to encourage their workers to learn, to teach them themselves, really all those things? Uh, the best part of the book, in my opinion, was how basically the nuts and bolts of advertising. Uh, looking at advertising costs and how print ads are just dropping, and but yet you know they need to make up for an online uh, advertising and it's not happening very well. You know, so Shepard looks at paywalls is a solution he looks at targeted advertising which is a a really big one he talks about insider access types of sites that you can pay for really in-depth columns or things like that and he just focuses on all these different ways of how you know even tablet issues of how uh, print companies can make money with advertising dying so that that focus and that all those different solutions you know there's no right one or wrong no one right or wrong answer but combination of all those things and that's what he does in the final chapter when he wraps it all up to see kinda of his take on what a managing editor now should be saying about his product or his or her newspaper or his or her magazine that basically print journalism in general what managing editors now can do to help themselves with the decline of print uh, print revenue. Anyways, Shepard's book, very insightful. I hope you guys got as much out of it as I did. I hope uh hope it leads to some 
good discussion. Thanks.